Hi, everybody. This video is an opportunity for us to examine the issue of methodology in the climatic movement and to expose the new approach brought by our academy, Zilalova. Welcome to the channel Zilalova of Dr. Yaluka. To begin, please subscribe and tick the notification bell in order not to miss our videos. Thank you for joining. The Comet of Kemet spiritual movement started in the year 1970s, inspired by the seminal work of Sheikh Etajab. The discovery that the ancient Egypt belongs to the Black culture led to the attempt of the revival of its religion or spirituality. This revival mostly relies on the relecture of the religion text left by the ancient Kamis. Thus, induction and speculation are the main methodology used in the exegesis of these texts. However, this approach is not without difficulties. Among these, we have, first, the lack of unanimity in the meanings given to the texts. This leads to a diversity of definitions of the same concepts. Second, the lack of a practical schema for the attainment of the spirituality lived by ancient Egyptians. Third, when this schema is suggested, the problem becomes one of the connection between this new approach and the different trends of African traditional religion found in the continent, even in the diaspora. Failure to provide a clear answer to all this connection impacts negatively the need that is felt for the cultural unity of Africa. Fifth, the lack of a clear schema for the spiritual unification of African cultures. Has an answer to these difficulties, Nzila Loa, our modern academy of African traditional spirituality, proposes an approach that, that we call neo chemitism neo chemitism started in 2008 with the discovery of the chemical cosmological argument. The chemical cosmological argument states deductively the essential doctrine of a salvational religion. A comparative study proves that a perfect congruence exists between the chemical cosmological argument and the religions of ancient Egypt, of Sumer, and of Congo. This implies that for Congo, the Congo religion is the continuity of the religion of ancient Egypt. Zilaloa thus offers a unique and efficient approach for the revival of the religion bequeathed by our ancestors. It then follows that, firstly, where the traditional commits propose induction and speculation, the neo commits offer a deduction and comparative study that is more efficient. And this results in the demonstration that African traditional religion is in reality and in, in, in its original trend an exact science. 
in Zilla Loa reveals the existence of two practices of African traditional religion, the divine practice and the human one. The latter being the most widely seen, if not the only one seen by the traditional Kamits. The Bukongo reveals that the divine mystery or on which is based the divine practice is an exact science and was the basis of the human practice of African traditional religion. Thus, the Bukongo offers a framework for the explanation of the different trends of the African traditional religion, an explanation that allows the Africans to bring back the scientific dimension into this trend of the religion bequeathed by our ancestors. Science being universal, these recovery scientific dimension of the religion of ancient Egypt bequeathed by her ancestor will lead to the unity of Africa, a unity dearly sold in Pan-Africanism. In conclusion, the problem of methodology is the one that hampers the progress of the committed movement. To the inductive and speculative approach used by the mainstream comics, Zilaloa Howard Academy offers a deductive and comparative approach that enables us to re-establish the scientific nature of the religion, of our religion, and bring the cultural unity of Africa. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share. More on this subject can be found on my books available at Amazon.